My name is Camelia Taylor. I've lost 132 pounds thanks to Connemaw's weight management program. I was comfortable being a bigger person because I was a plus size model. At one point in time, I had broke my foot, and when I broke my foot, it wouldn't heal, and I kept trying and trying. You know, I still kept trying to do the modeling thing, but it, it just wouldn't work. Um, I tried to work out, wouldn't work because the foot, and I just thought I needed to get something done to at least like have a longer life, you know, in modeling and being a hairstylist, you're on your feet all the time. So I just needed to reach out. And um, I had to think of basically my health over being a plus size model. And I really was skeptical about it because you know, you hear all these stories, but I'm glad I did, I, I would do it again. The process was definitely a learning experience because I just didn't know how to eat. You know, you just, I've been a hairstylist for 24 years and you just kind of eat whatever, whenever. So the process of just learning how to eat was the major thing for me. Um, just learning your body and how it works, that if you want to be on a diet, you can't starve yourself. You have to eat and you have to eat the right food. So the process was wonderful and a lot of people try to skip it to get to the weight loss, but I'm so grateful that, you know, I did every step. I followed it to a T and once I was able to work out, I just kind of went crazy on it. You think, oh, I'm just going to be skinny and I'm going to be super happy and this is going to, but just a transition, you didn't gain the weight because you were happy. A lot of times trauma happened, you know, just certain things, and you had to learn the, the source of why you were gaining the weight. And a lot of people don't understand is that you're wearing this weight around, but it's not weight because I eat too many cookies. A lot of it is weight because of, you know, psychological things that you have to deal with. Because when you lose the weight, if your head isn't fixed, then you're just gonna pick up all the weight back. The nutritionist, they were just so encouraging. The nurses, every time I came in, they were they were like my friends. They I would come in and they just had so much to talk about and you know they encourage you along the way. They give you so many phone numbers that you can possibly just, you know, reach out to them at any point in time. They actually really cared. They cared more about your success. And that's what I really liked. But I used to play basketball in high school and as my kids were getting older, they've never seen me in an athletic aspect. They always just see me kind of like mom or mom sits on the sideline. And I remember the first day we went to Roxbury Park and they were playing basketball and they're like, you want to play? I'm like, yeah. I was running circles around them. They were like, mom, <laughs> they couldn't believe it. So I, I love it. I would do it again. My two daughters were all very, 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 very busy. And a lot of times like we go to work out together I'm trying to find time together, we'll work out or you know, we'll go and play basketball or something like that. So I think it's made more quality time for my daughters and I. Um, first of all, it is a challenge. You know, it, I feel like it's going to be a challenge for me for the rest of my life, but I have to stay on it. And the one thing that keeps me going are people. People see me and they're always just like, oh my god, like they stand with me for like hours and I'm like, I gotta go, you know, but they, they really, they're encouraged by it. So a lot of it is, you know, the people, but as far as myself, I feel wonderful. I really do. Share recipes because sometimes you get kind of stuck in, you know, eating the same things and you kind of get bored and that's how you kind of venture off. But, you know, share recipes, that's a number one thing for me. Um, first of all, don't talk to anybody who's gonna sway you either way. Talk to somebody who's going to encourage your, how, your decision. And a lot of times people have a negative perspective on weight loss surgery. They think it's the easy way out, and it truly isn't. It makes you do what you're supposed to do. And um, one of the things that I would say is that, you know, be around people who've either had it done or to get into a group where you can ask all the questions. But I think that would be my advice, is, you know, don't listen to people, you know, because I wish I'd have did it sooner. You know, I waited until I was 39 to do it. I'm 41 now, but I, I wish I'd have did it way sooner.